Hey my beauties, I'm joining you today to do this makeup look and get ready with me. Hope you enjoy. Here I'm starting with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible and the L'Oreal Lumi in Warm W101. Love these colors. They go together really well. Um, I'm very tanned. And I'm going to use the Morphe M439 brush to pull all of this together. And notice I'm not dragging the brush. I'm just blotting it all over my skin. I have been deeply in love with this foundation. Um, I've actually put down my MAC NC45 Studio Fix Fluid for this. It has done an amazing job on my skin. Here I'm just blending and blending and making sure that I put the foundation where I need it to be. I'm not going underneath my eyes as much as you can see in the picture here because I'm going to come in with a concealer. I'm just trying to make sure that I cover up any acne scars or anything that you can see underneath the foundation. I'm actually not using as much foundation as I would normally use because this foundation does give you great great coverage. I'm very oily in the t-zone and this foundation tends to hold pretty well. It says that it's a 24 hour matte foundation. Not quite sure how truth to that name that is because I don't wear my foundation for 24 hours but I have definitely definitely fallen in love with this foundation and I just really love the way it melts onto my skin it does a wonderful job holding its coverage all day Now I'm going to come in with, I've been using this concealer for quite some time. Um, I've been researching a few other concealers that I'm going to try. I'm coming in with this Hard Candy. Um, it is a very heavy duty concealer, Glamouflage. Um, this is something that you can find at Walmart. It does a very good job. I'm just concealing. I tend to get bags under my eyes at times when I'm very tired um, being a mom of four boys. Also, it does a very good job of concealing um, those under eye circles or any dark areas. It's very heavy duty, so I'm using this as a highlight and also as a concealer. I'm putting a little bit on my lids for that stain power for those shadows that I'm going to use. Um, but I absolutely love this Glamouflage. It does an amazing job. I just use my fingers. You don't always have to use a, a concealer brush. Your fingers are great tools as well. At the very top of my lid underneath my brows, because my brows have been done already. I did those before I started the video. Um, I'm using the MAC Painterly Pot. And I've been using this for a while as well. It's another one of those makeup products that has great stain power. I'm a fan of MAC. But I've also learned to branch out a little bit and do some other things. See here I'm showing you the Pro Longwear Painterly Pot. It does a great job. It gives those shadows that that oomph that you're looking for. Um, they tend to stay all day. I'm going to blend out that um, Hard Candy Glamouflage with this e.l.f. brush I'm using. Of, of course you guys know e.l.f. is very affordable. I'm one of those people that I cannot buy all high-end products. I have to be able to squeeze a lot of affordability in my budget. And using these um, brushes, I, I love Morphe. I have a, some of those brushes. I love Sigma. I own some of those brushes. But I also own some of these lower end brushes that I can put my hands on quickly. Here I'm going to go in with the Pro Long Wear Concealer in the color NC45 by MAC. This is kind of, this is uh, tongue twisted. This is going to kind of blot out anything uh, any imperfection that I don't have a lot of imperfections but I'm going for a very natural flawless look today um, the look I'm kind of going for is with more purples and a soft lip and a little bit more deeper on the eyes 
I hope you guys like this look once I'm done. I don't tend to put a lot of color on my face because I'm already like a very tanned color. Um, I'm just going in with this Almay Smart Shade. It's a translucent powder really in the shade um, 100. I absolutely love it. Almay reminds me of Clinique. Very soft on the sensitive side, especially for sensitive skin. Here I'm taking my Real Techniques brush. It's a blush brush. I use it to put my Alme all over my face and kind of even me out and soften up the skin. Notice that I'm not um, rubbing very hard just because I want that foundation to stay in place and be long lasting for the duration of the day. Have a date night with hubby tonight guys. Here is one of my absolute faves. This is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. I'm going to go all over the eye with this peach smoothie. I'm going to use that with one of my Real Technique brushes here. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. It's kind of a transition color. It's kind of my beginning starting base color that I like to use. Um, I think I got this really, this love for this color um, watching Jaclyn Hill. She uses this color a lot in her uh, makeup tutorials. I love it. It's just one of those natural colors I can work with. I'm just putting it all over the lid. Here I'm taking my Sonya Kushik, hope I said that correctly, brush and I'm going in with another favorite color that I love out of the Makeup Geek collection, shadows which are very inexpensive you can get your hands on those guys. This color that I'm using is Chickadee. I kind of wanted something that was just going to pop up behind the other shadows once I layered all the shadows on. I wanted this color, I love Chickadee, it's just one of those colors that keeps you guessing I love it it goes so well with my skin tone and I'm layering that into that crease first and I'm using that sign I just love this brush by Sonya Kushik I got that brush from Target notice how that pop I just love makeup geeks Marlena did such a wonderful job with those colors Here I'm using the Maybelline Studio Color Tattoo. This is a very beautiful purple that I'm using here. I'm going to use my fingers to kind of dot it into the crease a little bit just to kind of start it because um, these kind of shadows can get away from you a little bit if you're not very careful with them just because they are cream shadows and cream shadows can have quite a bit of pigmentation. Absolutely love working with these Maybelline Tattoo Studio shadows. I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to grab for a brush, um, an eye brush that I'm using by Real Techniques. I'm going to spray that brush a little bit with that Pro Matte L'Oreal Infallible uh, Setting Spray. Love it. In love with this setting spray. I'm going to wet the bristles a little bit. And then I'm going to go and dip it in to the tattoo, the Maybelline Tattoo Studio eyeshadow because it is a cream and it will go on. It's just kind of going to give that cream a lot more staying power and it's going to pull that color to the surface.
making sure that I take away any hard lines or creases that you may see in that crease, making sure that all those shadows go together well. Here I'm taking the ColourPop Cosmetics shadow called, it's a matte shadow and it's called Rumor Has It Intoxicate. Love this shadow. So heavily pigmented. I'm just bringing it to the very, very corner of that crease just to bring a little bit more depth to my crease and not get washed away with the purple. Behind it, remember there's Chickadee. And now we're going in with the ColourPop Cosmetics has it intoxicate which is a matte shadow it's a brown shadow and it is very matte love it it's a creamy shadow though but the pigmentation in these shadows are amazing I'm going right back in with that purple from the Maybelline Tattoo Studios and I'm just deepening up the purple a little bit just in case it got washed away from all of the blending I want to make sure that that's a color that stands out <laughs> if you guys notice I'm rocking that purple hair my birthday just passed so the purple hair was a must <laughs> favorite shadows through Marlena at Makeup Geek. This is called Shimmer Shimmer. I'm going to spray the brush a little bit, my shadow brush, and I'm going to spray it because I want to make sure that that color I put on the very lower part of my lid is very deep, very pigmented, and it's going to, it's going to have a lot of stain power. And I'm putting just a tiny bit of that on that crease up there, uh, but below my brow, not crease, sorry below my brow I'm putting a little bit of that there just to make the eyes pop and make sure that I'm just spreading it on that bottom right there on the bottom of my lid and I bring it up into the corner just a little bit for that extra oomph that's my favorite word I guess guys going to take my blending brush from Sigma and I'm going to blend, 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 blend. This is a tapered blending brush. I'm going to go back in with that same eyeshadow brush that I used and I'm going to make sure that I put just a little bit back on the lid to make sure that it stays where it is so that you guys can see. Now I'm going to go in with this purple liner that I found at my famous drugstore Walgreens <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this purple liner on the lower lid because I'm doing this purple and it just was going to rock with these eyes and I absolutely fell in love with this liner as I was putting it on and just looking at it in the store so I'm always per I'm always gonna be a person to do something daring and different and this is what I chose this purple liner instead of a black one. I am going to line my eyes 
and I'm going to line them with the Maybelline, Maybelline Studio um, liquid, liquid liner and I'm going to use Vegas Nay Lashes in here. <clears throat> I did those off camera because it takes me a little while so notice I'm wearing the Maybelline Studio liner in black is black and I'm using the Vegas Nay Lashes. I picked those up at Target which I absolutely love. Currently those are my favorite lashes at right now at this very minute. I'm using a blush that I picked up. You'll never guess. Um, the first blush I used was the City Colors B Matte Blush. Love it. Called Dragon Fruit. And this is the NYX blush that I'm using. It's a cream blush. And it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I put the cream blush over the City Colors blush to kind of pick up the wash of pink. And it really does a great job. Cream blushes tend to have a lot, even a lot more stain power than some of your powder blushes. Which is a wonderful thing for me. Because my makeup, I'm a school teacher so my makeup tends to hold most of the day. I'm using the NYC color wheel to kind of not contour my face but put a little bit more definition in my cheeks. I'm going to take this e.l.f. powder blush brush. I am so tongue twisted today. Take this e.l.f. powder blush and try to carve my cheeks out a little bit more to see the definition in my cheeks. I'm not contouring. I'm just adding that wash of color where I'm contouring. My, not contouring but I'm putting the wash of color on my cheeks. Contouring will be another video. Like I said, I've gotten very tan in the sun and I have to use a darker color bronzer to bronze up my face a little bit so that you can even see it. taking this elf brush and I'm going to dip it in the hard candy. Hard candy is one of those lines of makeup sometimes I think it may get unnoticed but I love this um, tiki that I picked up. It's kind of like a highlight. It's not an overbearing highlight but I wanted to put a little bit on my cheeks there and on my brow bow and right there in the middle of my eyebrows on my forehead. Now I'm going to take this NYX Butter Gloss. It's in the color Meringue. It kind of has a sheen wash of purple. It is very pretty. I absolutely love it. I'm a NYX fan. I love their affordable. I love their glosses. I love their matte lipsticks. I just bought another one of their matte ones. I'll show you guys that in another video. Hope you guys like this look. Putting on that setting spray so that stays because it's date night tonight. I hope you guys like this look. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and all the products that I've used will be in the description box below. Pink Isle style. Thanks.